Graham Guthrie at the Trading 8 for 8 channel. Welcome to today's 30 minute workout. If you're interested in what's to come, please take a moment and click on the down arrow just below this screen. It's going to give us an idea of today's goals, muscle groups we're going to focus on, equipment needed, as well as the types of movements, sets, and reps. Take time to focus on your form above all else. As you get stronger, more confident, the pace will pick up. You can either match mine or push through it. If you like the day's workout, please like our video, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends and family. Without further ado, let's go get it. Today is going to be kind of strength and conditioning. Um, it's also going to be as much of a push-up challenge as you want to make it. Again, I did uh, a Murph yesterday, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and then a mile run on each side, so I'm a bit sore. I'm going to probably dial back a little bit on the push-ups, but I'll tell you the two movements that will have um, kind of the opportunity to add 8 and 10 push-ups per round. So you could be doing up to 18 push-ups um, each round that we do. We're going to do five movements, aim for three to four rounds, and then we're going to do a finisher. Um, so without further ado, let's get started in our warm-up. We are going to do a very typical warm-up. Again, I'm trying to get back. We're going to do high knees. March or run, jog with your knees above your waistline. I'm gonna go slow a little bit, limit the pounding on my knees, just cause I'm not a huge runner. And yesterday, still feeling yesterday. And I haven't warmed up, it's early for me. I'll be here for another 10 seconds or so. Again, if you want to run it out, feel free to do so. Just get that knee above the waistline. All right, now we're going to go to our butt kicks. Again, if you want to jog it out, feel free to do so. For me, I'm feeling a stretch just above the knee. Kind of keep the knees down, heels up towards your butt. Go for another 15 here. All right, next thing we're gonna do is uh, come into a plank on the ground. We're going to uh, start in a plank and then this is going to be a low lunge, so I'm going to step my left foot forward, my right hand stays planted, my back leg stays nice and straight, and then I'm going to rotate my left arm because my left leg's forward, so I'm rotating my torso towards that left leg, reaching towards the ceiling, shoulders away from the ears, plant the hand, foot comes back, opposite side. So we're trying to get the hips warmed up. Trying to get that spinal rotation. And as always, keep those shoulders down away from the ears. But push that chest through as much as you can. See if your rotation, some of us might be pointing kind of towards the corner of the room. We might, might not have that thoracic rotation yet. And as you warm up, you'll find that maybe you go a little bit further really sink those hips down. I'm trying to have my back leg as straight as possible to really feel a stretch in the calves. We're going to keep it going. Don't rush through these. Make sure you're breathing through these. One more each side. I started with my left. I'm going to finish with my right. Last one to the left. Last one to the right here. And after we're done these, what I want you to do is come to the floor, 
we go on our back, we're gonna do our glute bridges. So, 30 seconds or so, heels close to the butt, about hip distance apart. Drive your hips towards the ceiling, weight through your heels, and nice squeeze in those glutes. As I'll always say, apple's not applesauce. And again, this, you should be feeling this kind of glutes, hamstrings, maybe a nice gentle stretch in the low back. If your quads are tight for any reason, you might feel a nice stretch in the quad or in the hip flexors. Go for four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, so five movements. It's going to be, I call them crawl outs. It's a squat where you plant your hands, deep squat, plant your hands, crawl to a plank. Here's where you can do a push up and then crawl back. Keep your knees low. Second move is gonna be a reverse crunch or leg curl depending on how strong you are. Uh, the second thing is going to be a plank, um, a lateral plank and quadruped position movement. I'll explain when we go through it. Then it's an Arnold press, so we're gonna need weights and or band. Uh, and then band pull aparts or bend over fly. So again, band or weights. Doesn't necessarily need to be something heavy. Probably the Arnold press would be a little bit heavier than your uh, bend over fly if you're doing it. So without further ado, um, every rep scheme, every exercise is gonna go up just a little bit. So first thing we're doing is our uh, crawl out, eight reps where I want you to really focus on two things. One is nice wide stance, probably wider than hips. I'm gonna come down into a low squat, plant the hands, crawl out to a plank. You'll see my feet are nice and wide. If you want that challenge, push up. But the most important part for me is when you crawl back, start bending those knees almost immediately. Sit back on the heels, big chest, drive up, stand up. Don't, good morning up. This is squat on the way down, on the way up. Eight reps, starting in three, two, and one. Again, if you want that additional challenge of the push-ups, let's see how I'm doing. Bend those knees immediately, crawl back, sit back on those heels, one. I'm, not, I'm gonna do push-ups every other one, but come into your plank, squeeze your glutes, lock your knees out. If you don't wanna do the push-up, two. So we'll get your heart rate up. Just set back on the heels a little bit more. Three down, find your plank if you're not doing your push up. Drive that ground away. Four. Five. Here, I might get, to get the fan on today. Six. Ooh. Seven. Last one. And eight. Very good. So that's all right, reps. Heart rates come up a little bit. Uh, the next movement we're going to do nine reps is either the reverse crunch or the leg curl. The difference is kind of our lever arm. So do we want a challenge? You extend your legs. If you're not super strong, you're working up to it. Either movement, press that mid back into the floor and you're gonna feel that tailbone tuck underneath, kind of like you're starting your glute bridge. So reverse crunch, a little bit easier. Look for like a 90 degree bend in the knee legs together, and you're just gonna come up. So we're going from heel hovering above the floor, 
the knees kind of past the hips over the belly. Nine reps. If you're doing the leg curl, same thing with the back. If you go out further, just bring everything up. Up and under control. So, and then you can extend the legs in between the two for you know varied resistance. But nine reps in three, two, one. Let's go. One and do them nice and controlled. Try not to momentum two. Up towards the ceiling. Three, try not to come crashing down. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And if your low back starts to hurt, eight. One more. And nine. All right, so if your low back starts to hurt, Really try to focus on pushing that back down. Um, or take a break. So, uh, next push up opportunity. This is the quadruped lateral walk to a plank. So, what that means is, real quick, is quadruped position means hands under shoulders, knees under hips. You're gonna dig your toes into the floor, raise your knees, shins up off of the floor about two, three inches. This is where we're gonna move laterally. And then what we're gonna do is step back into a plank. If you want, push up, come back here, and then you're gonna move back to kind of the starting position. Plank, push up if you want it. We're gonna go for 10 lateral steps. So this is gonna work the core, shoulders, and if you're doing push-ups the whole time, chest as well. So, let me find how much space do I have here. Video might cut my head off, but we'll see. So, start in a plank. I'm gonna step forward, knees under. We're starting. Step laterally. Back to a plank. That's one, if you want that push-up. There you go, step forward. Lateral step, step back to the plank. Again, if you want that push up, go for it. Knees back underneath. I'm gonna do like every other one. I'm gonna switch it up a bit. Step back in. If you didn't do your push up already, all right, step back to your plank. Six steps here, we'll add another plank, why not? Warm it up a little bit. Shoulders definitely feeling up from yesterday. All right, one more lateral step. Count these in your head. Step back underneath the knees, and there we go. So, should go back and forth 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I got my ceiling fan on. Make sure I don't punch it. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is an Arnold press. Rep scheme's going up, 12 reps. So, this is a Bicep curl, so we're coming up, then we're going out. And you'll notice when I come out, my, I'm going from here to high elbows, pressing up overhead, keep those shoulders away from the ears, extend those arms. When I come back down, high elbow, forearms together, hands down by your side, neutral grip, palms facing the body. So, most people, their elbows drop when they're doing this, everything's down here. Try to bring those elbows up some. Um, and make sure we're not leaning back when we're pressing overhead. All right, 12 reps in three, two, let's go. One. Two. Remember, you wanna pick a weight that you know you can do. All the reps, three. Band isn't super heavy, 
but it's already starting to feel like a challenge. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Ooh. Shoulders are on fire. Eight. Four more. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Don't lean it back. Squeeze your glutes. Keep that rib cage down. And 12, reverse it, and you're done. All right, so if you have a band, we're gonna stick with the band. If you wanna do dumbbell rear flies, it's hip hinge backwards, arms are gonna hang down in front of the knees, shoulders away from the ears, chin tucked back towards your throat, and we're flying up like this. Wanna hit that rear delt. If you're with me, we're doing 15 underhand grip Band, pull aparts. And you can do flies, just make sure you can do that weight. If you need to take a break, stand up. All right, arms are already wiped out. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, and as always, you can kind of keep the workout going. Four, really pinch those shoulder blades, five, Six, and we want to pause at the end range of motion. Seven, eight, don't rush through this. Nine, palms up towards the ceiling. 10, 11, it should be burning by now if it isn't already. 12, 13, 14, one more, and 15. All right, that goes off to the side. That's one round. I'm gonna stop talking quite as much. We'll get into the work. So when you're ready, stand to the top of the mat. This is our opportunity to add more push-ups if you want. I'm still going every other one personally. Get that heart rate up, but breathe the entire time through your crawl out. Eight reps, three, two, one, let's go. Sit down, walk out to the plank. Do your push-up if you haven't already. Come up, one. Keep those knees low, almost like you're doing that bear crawl two, or quadruped position. Three, crawl back, sit back on those heels, shoulders away from the ears, crawl out, four, Keep breathing. Five. So again, I'm doing every other one. If you want those higher push-up count, go for it. Six. Get deep in that squat. Seven. Pause when you're in your plank whether you're doing the push-up or not. Last one. All right, so we're coming to the floor for our either reverse crunch or leg curl. Nine reps, feet out. Again, reverse crunch, a little bit easier, leg curl. A little bit more difficult. Controls the name of the game. Nine reps in three, two, one. Again, mid and low back, actively pressed two against that floor. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, 
try to take momentum out of it. And nine. All right. Try not to talk through much, too much through this one. This is the lateral quadruped step to plank, optional push up. 10 lateral steps. I'm gonna add a few push ups. No order, just when I'm feeling good. All right, uh, let's start in our plank. Knee forward, knee forward, under the hips. I'm gonna step laterally, feet back to plank. This is one, knees forward, lateral step, back to plank, two. Add that push up, if you're feeling it. Three. I'm gonna step with my foot, hand comes over. Now I'm in quadruped, four. Five, push up for me, step, lateral. I'm trying to keep those hips as still as possible. Six, seven. Everything should be fired up right now. Core's feeling at eight. At my push up. Nine, step back, step forward. Last one to the side, step back and relax. 10 reps. All right, shoulders are feeling it. They're gonna feel it in your Arnold press. Good form only. If you need to stop early, stop early. Grab a little bit of water. That one's got the heart rate up quite a bit. All right, grab your weights, grab your bands. 12 Arnold presses. Three, two, let's go. My watch is getting in the way. One. Two. Maybe I step on both. Make it consistent. Three. High elbows when you return. So I always say, curl up, pinkies together, out, pinkies out, press up, come down, pinkies together, reverse that curl. Five, six, halfway home. Keep those shoulder blades down the back. No shrugging, no leaning backwards. Seven. Nine. Ten. Woo. Be on that burn. Eleven. I think the watch may be coming off for the next round. Last one. And twelve. Very good. Take a moment. Catch your breath, let your arms relax. Last movement, underhand grip, band pull parts for 15 reps. Or again, if you're using dumbbells, bend over, fly. Whew. All right, without further ado, big chest, shoulders down the back, elbow angle does not change. All the work's happening in the shoulders, 15 reps. Three, two, one, one. If you have too little tension, take slack out of that band. Too much, three, walk those hands further apart. Four, five, the band should kind of be hitting you mid chest. Six, seven, eight, already starting to feel that fire. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
12, 13, two more, 14, last one, and 15. All right, so um, we're coming up close to the half hour. I started a minute or two late but that doesn't mean we can't keep going. Let's do one more round of the five exercises. If you have time, if you got extra time and you can do two more rounds, that's kind of the program design. And then, so we're doing one more round here on the video and then we're gonna finish with a finisher move, light up the back of our body. So without further ado, let's get back into our crawl outs. The number of push-ups is up to you. Just get deep in that squat, keep your knees low, on their return, weight on your arch and heel through the squat. Three, two, one, eight reps. Deep squat, plant the hands, walk to a plank if you want. Push up, bend the knees as you crawl back. Weight on the heels, big chest comes up too, or that's one. If you are only doing the plank, pause and then start crawling back. Two. Do every other one with the push up. Whew. Four. Maybe my counting's off. I think this is four. Curl back. Doing push up on odd numbers. Here's five. Six, lock out those knees, squeeze the glutes, bend the knees as you come back. Two more. Seven, last one. Plank, bend those knees, shins stay low until you're back on those heels. There we go. All right, leg curls or reverse crunch for nine. On our backs if you're not there already. Three, two, and one. One, two, and if your hands are by your side, you can kind of push into the ground. Three, if you want more of a challenge, hands overhead. Four, it doesn't allow. Five, your upper body to really work. Six, Seven, eight, and nine. All right. Lateral quadruped walk to plank. Again, push ups optional. I might throw one in there. Go at your own pace if you want to do all 10 push ups. Awesome. If you only want to throw five in, half in, whatever it is, do what's good for you. All right, without further ado, I'm going to find my plank so I'm not kicking the wall. All right, 10 steps in three, two, one. Knees come forward, step out, back to a plank, push up if you want it. That's one, two. Three, try to keep that back as still as possible. Four, five, six, again, you'll notice just going in and out of the plank. Seven is tough work. Running out of room with my feet. Eight. Nine. Maybe last one your morning. And ten. Whew. 
through those shoulders, a little bit of a rest. We're going into our Arnold press. Water and towel if you need it. I haven't said that for a while. I say that 8 million times a week when normal life resumes as a cycling instructor. All right, 12 Arnold presses, three, two, let's go. Curl, elbows out, one. Really keep those shoulder blades down the back. Two, come together. I'm gonna rotate so you can see what that side view looks like. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Four more. Woo. Nine. Squeeze the glutes, rib cage, ab ribs. 10 are staying down. I'm not leaning back. Got pulled in. 11. Last one. Oh, yeah. And 12. Take a moment. I'm getting either band pull apart, it's underhand grip or your bent over rear delt fly. Whew. All right, 15 reps. And then our finisher, if you got time, or if you want, hit pause, run back through another round, and then do the finisher. All right, 15 reps, three, two, one, let's go. One, two, Back of those shoulders already fired up. Three. It's gonna be long. Fifteen. Four. Just breathe. Five. Six. Breathe in on the way. Hands together. Exhale on the way out. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five more. Fight that fire. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, one more, 15. All right, that's all she wrote on those. If you got time, we're gonna meet on the floor for our finisher. Um, I call these ones Death Angels as a variation. As a, it's, instead of doing a snow angel on your back, you're gonna kind of do the opposite on your front or prone, um, your legs are gonna stay together, squeeze the glutes, lock the knees out, but you're gonna try to peel kind of your lower leg up to maybe the thighs pressed into the floor. And then your arms are gonna go from thumbs up to palms up, so a rotation, and then we're just gonna reverse it on the way up. Make each one down to the hips is five seconds down, five seconds back. Uh, we're going to do five of those, two rounds. It's going to take a little bit. So if you're just squeezing the bottom, upper body comes off, shoulders away from the ears, thumbs up. One, two, three, four, five, like that. Let's get started if you're not already. One, two, three, four, five. That's one. One, Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two down. Count in your head. Three, four, five. Forward. Two, three, four, five. One more. Two, three, four, five. These should be tough after this. 
that round of work we just did. Three, four, five. All right, something's telling me that only felt like four reps. We're gonna take about 30 seconds or so, get back into the next round. If trying to keep your upper bodies a lot of work and you want something to just start in, maybe we just bring one arm, one leg up at the same time. When you get stronger, both legs, both arms, start putting it all together. All right, last round of our Death Angels. Some metal fans, I'm sure there's a band named after that. We're gonna start, thumbs up, three, two, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, chins tucked back towards the throat, two, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, two down, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, three down, two, three, four, five, don't let the legs collapse down towards the ground, one more, one, two, three, four, five, last one, forward, three, four, and five, Woo. I don't know about you, I'm feeling pretty worked, um, let me know what the toughest thing was for you, if you did push-ups in the first and third exercise every time you moved, whether it was that crawl out or the lateral quadruple step to plank, kudos to you, that's a lot of work. Um, if you didn't, no worries, something to work up towards. Again, I wasn't asking you to necessarily do every one. As you saw, I did maybe every other one, uh, given the work that I did yesterday. But if you run through this workout again, whether it's on YouTube, Instagram stories, um, try it a week from now. If you can't tune in with me live and see how you do. You kind of know what to expect now, a little less kind of the unknown, a little more focus on your form, and what it feels like. So uh, keep up the good work. Stay hydrated, stay positive. I'll catch you on the flip side. Take care, everybody. And that's a wrap. Fantastic work this morning. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please reach out using the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can with the best answer possible. If you enjoyed today's workout, please hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, share with your friends and family. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one virtual training, I would love to take a few people on as clients. Please let me know. Again, comments, you can reach out. You can hit me up on Instagram at trading848.com. If you're interested in joining in these workouts live every day, get a little bit more consistency in your day, you can follow along on Instagram Live, 7.30, a.m. Eastern Standard Time each weekday. I am currently an out-of-work personal trainer, but if you're interested in donating, helping me out in these tough times, if you're able to, that'd be fantastic. You could reach me on Venmo at Graham-Guthrie. I'll put it up right here. Again, continue working hard, remain positive, stay hydrated, be safe, and until next time, take care.